Hello everyone! Happy Monday! Um, I'm going to leave that dirty word out of this video um, and we are just going to talk positively and have some fun stamping. So the little one is down for a nap. Uh, if you caught the last video, you know the video lasted like three seconds and then she woke up. So, um, but she just went down. So I should have a good, I'm not even going to guess a time. Um, but anyway, let's, let's stamp. Let's just relax, have fun and focus on stamping. And it's our little getaway, uh, therapy, whatever you want to call it. So what I am actually doing is um, cleaning up some of my um, like recent like card class packets. So we'll see. I have this basket of of packets that are like random card bits, um, and we'll see how many I get through. Because one, I need more cards in my stash, and two, I need to get rid of this pile, and three, I don't have to think. I already know what the card's gonna look like. Maybe. I mean, I do, but having the sample is always useful. So that's what I'm making. This cute little card. And you know what? I feel like I already know one, two, three, four, five people that I can send these cards to because rain or shine, you're always on my mind. Um, and so there's lots of people that can get this card um, that I could just send just randomly. Uh, you know, it just, it could be anybody. Anybody that you haven't spoken to in like the last week, why not send them a card that just says, hey, you're on my mind, I thought of you today. Because let me tell you, that's what I like to call happy mail. And who doesn't like to get happy mail? I mean, I know I do. Uh, Claire likes to get all mail, so she likes to go out to the mailbox um, every time Brad gets home and get the mail with him, and she's actually mostly excited about packages, so any, like, you know, usually most packages don't come in the mailbox, but like bubble lopes or anything like that, she always gets excited about that and hands it to me and wants me to open it immediately. Um, so yeah, gonna have to do something about that whenever we start getting gifts for her or something like that because we won't be able to open them in front of her. Um, but yeah, I love getting happy mail, you know, like you almost like sift through the mail and when you see that handwritten envelope, you're like, ooh, that's called happy mail. Although I do send, um, a lot of happy mail out with labels on the front. So, um, I guess don't discount all unhandwritten letters. Gotta have my caffeine to get through the day. So I'm using um, Whisper White card bases and this is Balmy Blue, four inches by five and a quarter. And then I took the Pleased as Punch designer series paper and it has these cute little umbrellas on one side and it has raindrops on the other side. So these measure um, three and three quarters by three, and these measure three and three quarters by two. And I'm going to do raindrops on top with umbrellas on the bottom. And in that little split section, I'm just gonna add some of this pretty in pink ribbon. So it kind of covers that up. I wonder, no. <laughs> I almost need it like back here, but I think I'm going to keep elbowing it. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm using. I don't have, oh, my adhesive is over there. Hold on. Okay. So we're just assembling cards. And I love that I can use the front and the back of this paper. It just makes it so much more versatile. And with the small pieces and stuff, I'm still able to get all um, of the paper used up for this card. Ooh, somebody just gave me a thumbs up, but I don't know who that was. Thank you and welcome. So 
in order to add that um, that little bit of ribbon, but the fact that it is um, like mesh see-through, I don't want to put a ton of adhesive or otherwise it's almost going to become tacky through the ribbon. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to add a dab here in the center, you know, just like not all the way to the edges, but just a dab. I'm going to press the ribbon in, which I cut too much. I almost feel like I want to trim off both ends. So I'm going to trim off one end. And place it down. Press it into that adhesive in the center. And then I'm going to trim off the other end. I'm so ready for sunshine um, rather than rain. Um, but you got to have one to have the other. You, and you have to have the one to appreciate the other one. So here we are. I just wish we could play outside. Soak up some vitamin D. Okay, there's the card. And then I just have, and here's one. I'm using the, oh, I think I might sneeze. I'm good. And I'm here. You guys are on the other side of the screen, so. No fear. I'm using the Under My Umbrella stamp set and the Rain or Shine, You're Always on My Mind. And this one is already punched out, so I'm just going to stamp it down. Hopefully it's good, otherwise I have the other side to to um to use perfect and this is using the not this punch but this punch will work too um i thought hi Faye. um i thought i grabbed the right punch but i did not so this one is the label me fancy and this one is the timeless label um i thought i grabbed the right one and then of course i'm going to add this to my card front the things I do when I'm cleaning. Um, I have so many like leftover bits of dimensionals that I feel like my leftover bits are taking over. I still use every bit of my dimensionals because you guys know how much I love dimensionals. Um, and I'm not going to waste any of my dimensionals. That edging actually works really, really well in certain projects. Um, but also, it's like useful. So why would you throw it away? So now this label is going to go right over that adhesive that you put on that ribbon. So one, it's going to help secure that ribbon down. And two, it's going to cover up that um, adhesive underneath that ribbon. So yes, the ends of the ribbon are technically like freestanding, um, but it's okay because it's being secured on there in the center. Hi, Casey. Welcome. So yeah, there's the first card. Um, and I have one, two, three, four more to go. And remember, it's always easier to make multiples than it is to come up with a new design. Now, I did run out of some of this paper um, in the class that I did, so I need to make sure... I have equal amounts. So I did actually do some in this paper too. So you could always do like that kind of card. I probably wouldn't do rain or shine. You're always on my mind with this one. Um, but like you could always do raindrops and flowers. Or you could do this one. So I think this one I'm going to do like this. The other option that you could always do is lay the ribbon across and put the greeting and leave the top blue. So that's always an option too. Good morning. Good morning, Faye. Where are you at? It is 1.14. Although I kind of don't know like what day it is or what time it is or anything like that. Well, actually, I always know it's 1 o'clock because 1 o'clock is nap time and I'm not going to forget that. 
So you could also do that. So that's super cute too. Okay, so let's start adhering. So yeah, these were just, I had five leftovers from one of my library classes. And I didn't have any more of the paper left over, so I decided not to use it on another class. So that's why I'm just finishing up the samples, stamping, getting some stuff done during nap time. And it looks like I still need one more set. I think I'm going to use the stripes. Okay. Add a dab, add a dab, press my ribbon in. So did you guys all have a good weekend? I did. We celebrated my mom's retirement and my aunt came to town, her sister, so that was fun. Always a good time getting together with family. Trimming off just a hair of that ribbon is kind of difficult. I totally lost track of time. I hear you there. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm here for you, girl. I ran out um, to tell you what time it is. Okay, so I got two more, but I still don't know how long these are going to last because they're both almost out. It seems like whenever it comes to adhesive, I like either all of them are running out at the same time at classes or they're all brand new and they're good. And it looks like today we're in that they're all running out. And this one needs ribbon. So lately I've kind of gotten in the mood to where I want to like clean out everything. Um, part of that's like spring cleaning. Part of that's just me and my crazy organizational cleaningness. And then of course part of that is um, we usually do like a spring garage sale. So I'm cleaning out for that. And I thought I could let go of this giant stuffed animal puppy that I absolutely loved as a kid. Um, and one of the things that I like to do whenever I'm going to get rid of something that's like kind of sentimental, but like really, what are you going to do with this giant puppy, um, is I take pictures of it. So I take pictures of it and I have on my Shutterfly account, I have um, a huge folder of like, it's called like childhood memories or something like that. Um, so that if I ever like, you know, wondered what it looked like or, you know, anything like that, I could just go to that folder and see all of those things. Because like I said, what am I supposed to do with this? But um he, I took pictures of him, and uh, then I put him back in the closet. I guess I'm just not ready yet to, to let him go. His name was Mr. Hot Stuff. He's quite large, and I used to sleep with him, like, on his, because, I mean, he's a large puppy, and, um, like, I used to sleep, like, in his nook. But, yeah, he's a little matted. Um, not quite as soft and fluffy as I remember, but, okay, this really didn't last long. It's going to be a bad day whenever I run out of adhesive. Okay, here's hoping this one lasts longer. Are any of you guys crazy hoarders of childhood memories, or you let it all go, or you like cleaning. I like cleaning and organizing. Makes me so happy. Okay, this one, because I don't feel like cutting more cardstock or designer paper, I'm actually going to put this one 
on the card going up and down. And then I'm going to stamp the greeting and put it right here. So it's going to go like this because that's the only piece I have left. And I'm using up all my scraps without having to think and worry and get out any other materials. Perfect! Okay. So I think I only need one more rain or shine. Actually, I want to use this piece. Normally I say to stamp first and then punch, but whatever. If you feel like winging it like me, go for it. There's always two sides to every piece of paper. Ah. Well, that was supposed to look all cute and everything, but hopefully that will be the thumbnail for this video rather than, you know, my rear end as I'm getting up to go get more adhesive or something like that. I swear it seems like Facebook usually tries to pick like the worst moment to select a thumbnail and I'm like mm, thanks but that's okay fun fact I love badminton and they had rackets and birdies at the dollar store so I bought it and we have been playing badminton in the backyard a couple times and it's been super fun Although Brad says I'm not the champ that I said that I was. Um, so I think I'm just going to use Hello Sunshine for the other ones. I kind of want to use the Showered with Love for this one because there's still the uh, umbrellas. But I think I'm just going to do Hello Sunshine. Do you guys like um, nondescript cards like Hello Sunshine? Or do you prefer ones that are very specific like birthday, sympathy, get well? I kind of like the basic ones because then I can use them for anything. Dry, 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 and they're done. Okay, where'd my dimensionals go? Y'all gotta ch chat with me so I don't feel like I'm so lonely. So that's how that one turned out. I almost feel like it needs some gems and jewels, don't you think? Gems and jewels. The like the original one, I feel like was pretty good, but these look a little bit more plain. You know, maybe it's because the greeting is actually or the uh, punched image is actually bigger. It's bigger than that original one that I did. There's another sheet of dimensionals down. There's another half a sheet. Nothing makes me happier than using up leftovers. It's like I can't throw them away, but yet they also annoy me. I know that sounds really weird. Okay, so these definitely need some bling. And my bling is right there. So 
So, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. First one on top. It's a success. That means it's a good stamping day. Ooh, that's a lot of putty out there. There. Just a little bit of extra bling. Yeah. And I'm using the take your pick tool with the putty tip and you just kind of like grab the side of the little sequin and push to like unstick it from so let's see. Ah. So you just like push down to get it like unstuck from um, the clear sheet and then um, and then this sticky is holding on to it. So once you kind of pop it off of that original spot, then it sticks to this. Set it down, press, let go. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, so now all those cards are done. And I still have a little piece of ribbon left. So it's either going to go back in the container up there with the other ribbon or it's going to go over there in the scrap bin. And the scrap bin then goes, for now I'm just going to toss it back there. Um, the scrap bin goes into baggies and then I either give them away as goodies or um, I sell them in my stamp garage sale. Um, just to share the love. I know some people love scraps and like it's a chance for them to like get creative kind of like how I did there with that last card um, and kind of experience like lots of different products and some people don't like them because they have plenty of scraps at home so some people love them some people hate them okay done with that set now that one's too difficult mm, that one is too now I'm going to do the kerchief card kit because there's no stamping or anything to it. Oh, here's my leftover whites that can go back there. Cleaned up. Mess again. And I um, didn't use the twine on the blue card I think it was yes so I didn't use the twine on this one and I have a lot of twine left over so again these like might go in the scrap bin um, or I might use them but yeah a, a lot of twine left over so now I'm making these two I just have a few of each So one of these, actually both of these have um, vellum on them. I'm going to start with the blue kerchief card. Um, and it has vellum. And um, for the most part, you can't really see the adhesive through the vellum unless you add like, you know, a ton of it. Um, but still, I like to sort of keep my adhesive centralized to under the spots that I know I'm going to have like a greeting or a decoration piece over the top of it. So here's my little vellum piece. So I'm just going to add like a little dab to the top and then I'm going to add a little bit more down at the bottom because I know that the bottom is going to be more covered up. So I don't know how well you can see 
which is a good thing. But yeah, like you can see like there's a few little dark spots where that adhesive is holding on. But it's very light. I'm just not a huge vellum person. I don't know why. It's just not something I remember to use. Like, I don't know. I I always forget I have it, and then I see projects with it, and I'm like, oh, that's cute. What did they do? Oh, vellum. Yeah, that's a good idea. And, and then it's like, pfft, out the window. Forgot about it. Like, I'm super loving the um the vellum in the uh celebration but like i honestly feel like i won't use it so there it is let me put some white behind it but like it's textured and like feels really cool cuz you can see you can see the texture. Um, and it's in soft sea foam, um, like a greeny color. And then pool party blue and um, purple posy purple. And like it's super fabulous. Um, but I also don't know that I'll use it. Maybe I need to go to like vellum school, make myself use it. And show you guys how and then I'll probably like love it and then you know it'll go away it won't be like the fad anymore and I'll be like oh man because that seems to be how things go with me okay so now I'm just gonna kind of add like some adhesive all around here to add those greenery pieces down so it looks like one greenery up one greenery down and then I need so I have, I just have two sheets actually, two sheets of these gold leaves and flowers and I have them together so that I can punch them out together so that I'm not punching out like 500, I'm only punching out 250, if that makes sense. And it looks like one of each of these. These have a weird film on them that make my hands feel funny. Like, if you know what I'm talking about, like, there's like a resin on them to keep them probably from sticking together. But, like, it makes my hands feel dry or, like, like I don't have fingertips. I don't know. That's a weird, weird concept. So <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I do have fingertips. <laughs> oh, geez. That came out weird. Anyway, so I'm adding my flower on with dimensionals. And if you're having a heart attack with how many dimensionals I'm using, uh, just know that I always do it like that. I always use a lot of dimensionals. These dimensionals are going to make a nice, flat, even flower, but they're also going to hold on all of my little leaves and things, too. I mean, I did put adhesive down for the leaves, um, but this will, you know, additionally help. What in the world? The little one is awake after, like, 30 minutes. Oh, this is not a good day. Not a good day. Hopefully she'll settle back down again. Because Mama's not done stamping with you. The unpredictability with kids is my biggest struggle. Because I can't plan and prepare for anything. And I'm a big planner. Ha! Ah, there we go. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and say goodbye just in case she doesn't fall back asleep. So I will see you guys all later. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope um, that you find happiness in this chaos. 
and we'll all get through it together. I hope to be on um, every day this week. If not here, I'll be on on my YouTube channel um, just to kind of to get us through all of this chaos. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.